the sheer amount of free advertising that Budweiser is receiving due to the Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney controversy is insane. You literally can't pay for this kind of advertising. So here is the Google searches. Blue is Bud Light, red is Joe Biden to give you an idea of where that leads. Uh, we have Dylan Mulvaney and we have Coors. Now, if we go back here, let's go check Super Bowl. So the Super Bowl, we have Bud Light sitting at an 11. We have Coors sitting in an eight. And we have Dylan Mulvaney under one. And when the controversy hits its peak, it's almost 10 times more searches than after the Super Bowl ads. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of advertising. And you'll see Coors is also up and Dylan Mulvaney is more than double Bud Light after the Super Bowl. This is wild. Now, there is a Budweiser ad up on Twitter. And here's that ad here. And it has 9.2 million views. This is if you're viewing it directly from the Budweiser account. But there is a paid ad version where they paid a little bit to get it advertised. Now, I don't know how much they paid or for how many views, but that version, last I looked, has over 32 million views. And many of it's because people started retweeting the ad or replying to the ad or quote tweeting the ad angry that the ad exists. Yet again, feeding more free advertising. Absolutely wild. Now, of course, remember, we have Joe Rogan calling them out now. Trump Jr. is calling them out there. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner is calling them out. The Republican like national committees have pulled all their negative Bud Light stuff after realizing that Bud Lights are a big donor to the GOP. So much free advertising. The person who got that sponsorship deserves a raise, a huge raise and a massive bonus. You can't pay for this many eyes to be on your product.